There's a new exhibit coming to the Durham Museum. It opens on October 3rd, but it really started in, uh, I think it was 1965, 50 right? years, yeah. Spectacular shots from around the world. The result of the prestigious competition, Wildlife Photographer of the Year. Jessica Brummer returns from the Durham. Good morning, Jessica. How are you? Good morning. Hi. I'm good. How are you guys? Good, good to see you. Give us a little background on, the, on this exhibit. Yeah, so this is the Wildlife Photographer of the Year mm -hmm. exhibit. Um, the competition itself is in its 50th year, and um, there are over 42,000 submissions from around the world. And then uh, a jury panel of professional photographers selects the finalists and the winning images, and then they tour around um, in the exhibit, which is what we'll be getting mm -hmm. down at the Durham. Different categories. Yeah, I, there's 17 different categories, as well as... Um, different ages of photographers so some of them are um, you know amateurs 10 wow. years and younger mm -hmm. that's the best part if yeah. they're capturing these shots that their eye is it's almost yeah I think like the fact that DNA. like everybody has a camera now yeah. um, has really expanded this competition mm -hmm. and the experience that guests will have in the gallery tell us a little bit about that. yeah so um, it's not just a bunch of photos hanging on the wall the the images are actually backlit with LED light so the gallery itself is very dark and you'll walk in and all of the images are illuminated mm. um, as well as there's kind of a cool wildlife soundtrack that goes mm -hmm. along it so it really is um, kind of putting you in an atmosphere. Mm -hmm. yeah. These photographs come in from all over the world. Were any of them taken by local men, women, children? The interesting part about the competition um, is that we have, not this year, but we have three local photographers. So Thomas Mangelson, uh, mm -hmm. Joel Sartori, and Michael Forsberg, who are all native Nebraskans, mm -hmm. have all won the competition at some point. And at the beginning of the gallery, we feature those three photographs mm -hmm. so we can kind of show our hometown pride in that sense. And then when we think about uh, nature images, we think of National Geographic. Mm -hmm. And the National Geographic, I think it's a photographer, right, is coming yes. to lecture? Mm -hmm. We're very excited. So we have, um, he is a marine photographer specializing in underwater photography. His name is Brian Scary. He has set where you are now. He's I know. Uh, he was here not too long ago on the morning Look blend. Look at that photo. He has been. He has spent like countless hours underwater. Yeah, like more under than above. Yeah, <laughs> right, just, right. It's bananas. He's lived half his life underwater. Yeah. So when is he speaking at the Durham? He will be there Tuesday night, this Tuesday, October sixth, and there's still some seats available. Um, and yeah, he's gonna he's gonna come to town. He's gonna go out to um, two area schools as our scholars in residence program and talk to um, the kids about conservation and his mm -hmm. work. And then he'll give a public lecture that evening down at the Durham. So mm -hmm. um, it, it should be fascinating. I'm very and that's excited. October 3rd, right? Uh, um, this, no, this is the exhibit. Exhibit, yes. Exhibit opens this Saturday, October mm -hmm. 3rd, and runs through January 3rd. And he will be there. He will be there Tuesday, October 6th. Tuesday, October 6th. 6th. And you're also going to host Wild Weekends. Yeah, so this is a lot of fun, kind of something for kids. Um, every Saturday during October at 1030, mm -hmm. we have a different community partner coming down, bringing some live animals to the uh -huh. museum to talk to kids. So it kicks off this Saturday with Gifford Farms. Um, and then we have the zoo, the Humane Society, some different organizations um, coming and bringing their furry friends along mm -hmm. with them. So. Plus some special tours throughout this whole period. Yeah, we like to give people a chance to have kind of a, a local expert talk a little bit more specifically, give them an in-depth tour. Mm -hmm. So the first Saturday of the month, if that's something you're interested in, we have guided tours by local experts of the exhibit as well. Mm -hmm. Check it out. And then Story Safari. This is just for kids. Just well, I mean, for kids. the grown ups might enjoy it, but the, the, it was designed for the kiddos. Coming. It was. It was. It was designed for kids in mind. Um, it is a giant tree house in mm -hmm. the middle of uh, the exhibit where kids can um, read wildlife books. There's puzzles, there's puppets, um, all kinds of stuff. And then there's some really cool posters that are in that exhibit um, mm -hmm. about Nebraska uh, wildlife ecotourism, that sort of thing. So mm -hmm. uh, a great place for kids to play while maybe parents hang out. And you brought a little buffalo in here, right? I did. What's this buffalo this all is, about? This is our mini scout. So. Um, we're having a little promotion during the month of October. So if you join the museum, uh, a family membership or uh, renew your membership, mm -hmm. you receive this cute little wild at the Durham Buffalo. He represents our little scout that's normally, um, that's down in the museum if you've seen him there. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, so kind of just a fun promotion to join the museum right and now. And with this new exhibit opening, it's a great time to it be is. there. And then the holidays and just to have a membership that 
covers it all. Yeah, you yeah. can you can come at any point with a membership, attend mm -hmm. any of these events for free, so it's really the best bargain. I think we're kind of sponsoring that, aren't we? KMTV is sponsoring part of the exhibit? The yes. Whole exhibit? <laughs> Not kind of, we are. We are. We're, we're kind of do. And I <laughs> want to take a moment, it, so there's information in at the Durham Museum, you can uh -huh. find out about all the exhibits and, on, uh, and memberships as well. But I want to take a moment, Durham curator, curator on Twitter, I want to uh, plug him for a little bit, because yeah. he posts all kinds of great pictures on Twitter. Uh, historic pictures from Omaha and the surrounding areas. Here's a picture mm -hmm. from um, uh, 1876, the original mm -hmm. station at the location known as the Cow Shed. Really cool stuff. That That's awesome. I want to just plug him a little bit. He yeah. puts up some good, pic good he, pictures He there. does some great stuff, and we have so much rich Omaha history down at the museum that uh, he tries to just kind of bring that out to the mm -hmm. forefront every once in a while. So gotcha. definitely follow him. Thank yeah. you, Jessica. Thank it's good you. to see you. Good to see you. Have a great run. Hi, Thank you. Durham. All right, turn on HG.